very excited to be sat here on the sofa with Lisa Faulkner. First question, Lisa, which came over a lot of people. How do you juggle? Because you seem to be juggling a lot of things. Yes. Scripts and being an actress, being a cook and being a mummy. Yeah. How on earth do you do that? I try and get as much work done between the hours of nine and three as yeah. possible so that when my daughter gets home, I can spend time with her. Uh, it's always the way that then at 5.30 my agent suddenly calls me and it all goes crazy and I'm like, it's 5.30 and I'm now making dinner. But yeah. I just try and be really organised, I've started getting up earlier. Our next question is fussy eaters. I've got the fussiest eater Have in you? the world. He was born with reflux and right. he's just got the worst food association problems ever. What do you do with a fussy eater? What What would you recommend? Do you know Go what? Go cold turkey or... It's so hard. It is so hard. I think what I used to do when um, mine was little was do little bowls of different food. So I'd do cucumber and courgette so that it mm. looked the same but tasted different. And little co cooked yeah. carrots and raw carrots because she would like... She'd love a raw carrot but she wouldn't like a co cooked carrot. Yeah. And in the end I thought... Why am I even worrying? It doesn't matter. I'll just chop up some raw carrot on the side of the plate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of worrying about that it was everyone else was having cooked. Um, mm. So it's just finding different things and getting it to be exciting to do a taste test. So I constantly yeah. am going, but you're my taste tester. You test everything. And then they sort of go, oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I'm quite good at that. <laughs> so it, it's yeah. like getting them to think that they are really good at trying stuff. And then snacks is yeah. another thing. You can do sort of homemade cereal bars using cereal and fruit, a little tiny bit of maple syrup so it's got hard or a bit of apple juice but tiny amounts so that it's not too sweet you're getting your sweetness yeah. from your your um, fruit and then just cut them up and you've got little tiny little bars of fruit and cereal bars which are brilliant. Also doing things like red pepper dips or yeah. pesto hummus and things like that even if you buy hummus and you add a little spoonful of pesto my daughter loves it yeah um things like that with carrots i chop up carrots celery all sorts of things she you know it's yeah. just dipping things how do we get kids interested in cooking and again i can't wait for the answer to this one get them to cook the more you actually yeah. say yes you can make dinner you know let's yeah. let's do this together and you say what would you like to make or what's your favorite dish and you do it really quickly with them yeah. and simply yeah. with them then they learn and they're tasting as they go along and the pride of putting out dinner that yeah. they help make is quite amazing and it really really changes them so lisa would you do the school run in flats or wedges oh flats i'd do it in bare feet if i could <laughs> me too in our slippers yes <laughs> the best thing about being a mum is Oh, the cuddles and smelling them when they're asleep at night. Oh, <laughs> I like those things too. Girls' night in or girls' night out? Sadly, at my age, it's girls' night in. Yeah, we're nice. getting old, so, we? so tragic, but I'm just sometimes too tired to go yeah. out. And what's your fave, Prosecco or gin and tonic? Oh, well, I'd have to say Prosecco, but I, I, if you give me red wine, I'll be even happier. After this chat, I am Starvamingo. So we're going to go off and have some nice lunch somewhere. Thanks very much for watching. Thank, Thank you. you for joining us. Really, really nice to sit and have a chat. It with was you lovely. <laughs> Bye.